All right, everyone. So I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily turn a PDF into a document that your students can write on. So for this example, I'm going to take this worksheet about living and non-living things, and I want students to write inside of the boxes that we have here. So the first thing that I want to do is open up the PDF, and I want to zoom out so that way I have access to the full page. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my snipping tool and I'm going to select my PDF. And once I select that, it's going to come up in a new window and I want to click save. So I'm going to save it. Right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into PowerPoint and open a new blank PowerPoint. Now I don't like these boxes here. They bother me. So I'm going to get rid of those by going to the home tab and then choosing a blank layout. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the design tab and choose slide size. And then I'm going to choose custom. So now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of leave how this is, or actually I can come and change it to letter paper. It's really up to you. I like to leave it as uh, widescreen, and then I will change the width and height myself. So the width of a piece of paper we know is eight and a half inches, and the height is 11 inches. And then click OK. And then I will choose Ensure Fit. And now I have a eight and a half by 11 size paper. Now I could just put my image here, but then students would, every time they clicked, would be able to move it around and, and manipulate it. And we don't want that to happen as easily. So in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to choose format background. And under format, the format background section, I'm going to go ahead and choose picture or texture fill. Once I select this box, right underneath I can choose the picture source. I would select insert and then choose from a file. And then I will navigate to my files and click insert. So now I have this PDF as the background of my uh, PowerPoint. From here, what I want to do is create a text box inside of the areas I want the students to be able to type their answers. So I will come to the Insert tab and choose Text Box. And now I just click and drag. And I'm going to put a little message. Click here to type your answer. And now the students will know they can click here and they will be able to type their answer. Now I don't want to have to do that every single time so I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it into and move it to its new location. So now students can just click clear out this text and then they can go ahead and type in whatever answer that you would like. Now some students will type more so you can give instructions for them on how to adjust the font size. Maybe you want to start off inside of your boxes with a smaller font size. That's entirely up to you and based off of the um, the documents that you are using with your students. You can make all of those decisions yourself. Then all you're going to do is file save. Save it to its location. And now you would upload this PowerPoint for your students to be able to access.
make sure you don't want to spend the time to recreate. Uh, you want to make sure that you give credit to the author of the pages. But um, that is one way that we can get PDFs to our students for them to be able to edit.